so hello comrades and welcome to ballads of remus when the bed bites and in today's video we are going to 100 percent complete the game and what i mean by saying that we are going to achieve the last two achievements the ballad of the butterfly butterfly and the ballad of the seagull so in the previous video I did the Ballad of the Caterpillar and the Ballad of the Crushed Bug. These were actually very, well, very simple, nothing too major. And uh, yeah, the other four achievements were done when I uh, completed the whole game. So I remember the Ballad of the Moth was actually so amazing. I could not understand where I need to find all the pieces, puzzle pieces, but eventually we did it. So. In today's episode, we need to finish the Ballad of the Butterfly. Butterfly. Why I say butterfly? Butterfly. I'm sorry. Okay. So, in order to achieve this achievement, we needed to make the Ballad of the Caterpillar. And right now, I'm going to show you how to complete this one, the Ballad of the Butterfly. So, yeah, let's go and do that. So, in order to finish this simple achievement, well, every one is actually pretty simple. We need to go to a specific scene. And the specific scene is in the Fire and Hill. So without any further hesitation, let's just go there. And we are going to skip some uh, cutscenes because we have already seen that. Uh, we ha I have completed the game. These are awesome. And I'm just going to fast forward into the Fire and Hill. So yeah, do you remember the suckage beast? Oh my god, I, I remember that. So okay. So when you are in this particular scene, go up and just stand right here. And you will see a small butterfly, as you can see, it's fly. Okay, we need to press on it, and that's it. Thanks again for fixing my branch. I could really use your help again. Always happy to help. My flying's a little off. I think my wings are unbalanced. Would you mind taking a look? Okay, so in this situation, we are going to find 10 differences in those small wings. And uh, yeah, so by the way, again, I have to warn you that you need to complete the ballad of the caterpillar. And that cattle caterpillar is actually this beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Okay, so now we need to find 10 differences. I'm going to, I guess, fast forward because I might get stuck here for like, I don't know, 10 minutes, maybe more. And yeah, let's go. The Ballad of the Butterfly is now completed. Now we can actually go back to the main menu. And that, that was actually so, uh, so awesome. I thought I need to like find the dots, but apparently I also needed to find the right colors to match in the in on the wings but that was actually pretty simple I, I believe i did it in less than two minutes or maybe a little bit more than two minutes but anyway that was awesome so okay we are almost we have almost completed the all achievements of ballads of the remus now what we need to do we need to finish with the last one the ballad of the seagull so this one is actually a little bit tricky one and uh okay let, let's go and just do it so in order to complete this we need to uh select the scene the town of Fredericus. so let's go right away because we are going to need Sorry, to skip something bed bugs. bugs do you remember we needed to find the concrete concrete uh recipe and okay so i'm playing as liam right now uh, liam liam i i don't know how to pronounce that i'm sorry so as liam we need to we need to actually uh kill the seagull uh do you remember how to do that don't worry i'm going to show you and later on we need to give this the dead seagull to this i i think i have never done this before so let's let's do this so in order to kill the, kill the seagull we need these poisonous mushrooms our neighbor knows the mushrooms he's planted are poisonous Oh well, maybe one will come in handy. All right, so the neighbor is planting mo poisonous mushrooms, which we are going to use. We are going to the bakery right now, and we are going to feed the poisonous mushroom to the seagull. Did you just murder that seagull? Oh, great. And once the other birds find out, they're gonna hunt me down and pick out my eyes. And I really can't leave the bakery. These pies are never gonna get me. Okay, so uh, the baker needs to make pies and he cannot lead the bakery apparently. So now we are going to take 
the dead seagull we are going to hide everything and now we are going back outside and we are going to give the dead seagull to this poor friend and I'm hey, Phil is that you <laughs> Phil looks so small he was so young oh okay I knew he had a problem with overeating but I never thought it would come to this oh sorry for your loss is there anything I can do could you help me with a little memorial headstone for him you'll need to gather some rocks it's the least I can do all right so now what we need to do we need to find rocks for a memorial stone and apparently well uh, I like how Liam completely poker faced him because he was like, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to uh, say that I just killed this poor, poor dude. At least I'm going to, you know, make a, uh, a gravestone for him. So now uh, what I need to do, I need to find uh, stones uh, for gravestone. So I have no way. Okay, I, I think I can see one. Yes, and okay, I, I'm going to get stuck here a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to again fast forward because we need 12 more and I have no idea where to search for them. For them. So yeah, let's go. And I believe I did found the last piece and it is right here. So as you can see, I have 13 or 14 pieces and yes, this was the last piece. So now what we need to do, let's go back to the seagull and let's construct, con con construct <laughs> uh, the headstone by dragging the puzzle pieces together. So let's go. <laughs> Finally, the tombstone is complete. So what we need to do, I believe we need to give the tombs tombstone to to the seagull or oh we It's oh. perfect. Rest in peace, Phil. I'm sorry, now, Phil. It's time for revenge. Uh-oh. Don't tell me that you Oh no! The bakery! Oh, Lordy. <laughs> I showed him! Maybe now he'll be willing to give us his day old donuts. The ballad of the seagull. Oh my god. And you know what? After this uh, tombstone uh, puzzle, I believe I'm going to just buy the Juicesaurus because it is awesome. So that's it, comrades. Uh, we did it. We achieved everything in the game we achieved every single achievement and they were awesome so i love those puzzle type achievements i, I don't know why because uh, you cannot complete them in like you know two minutes because some some of them were harder for example like ballad of the moth it was really really hard because you needed to complete you needed to find first all uh, the puzzle pieces and then you need to it to complete uh, the, the the whole painting. I remember I I I believe I spent like uh, almost like half a, half an hour to to complete the the painting. Right now I spend I believe ten minutes on the tombstone, maybe less, maybe five. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, comrades, that's it. So everything is done in balance of the Remus and uh, yeah it, it was a really awesome point and click game so uh, yeah if you want more point and click games uh, you are always uh, welcome to check my channel I have started to playing to play reincarnation uh, game with an awesome really cute small uh, devil uh, it's, it's really awesome I'm going to leave all the links in the description if you want you can go and check it out and comrades yeah I hope you enjoyed I believe this is going to be the last episode of Ballads of Remus when the bed bugs uh, when the bed bites and yeah as sad as it is and yeah i hope again you enjoyed it if you did that is really awesome and as always i'm going to see you all tomorrow in the next episode bye